Decades in the making, the proposed disabilities legislation marks not only a significant feat for legislators, but those most impacted by what's to come, like president of the Disabled Persons Organization, William Lightborn, who couldn't be happier. He believes the most important aspect of the proposed law is the establishment of a National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, which he says will either make or break the bill's impact moving forward. The work of the commission is going to determine whether or not this legislation will impact the citizens of this country, particularly those with disabilities. So we, we, depend, we will depend on, on the work of the commission to really ensure the implementation and the monitoring of all what is to happen and to ensure the regulations are put in place so that persons with disabilities can, can move forward and to embracing all of the opportunities that will make this country a truly inclusive society for all. And like many others, Mr. Lightborn says he's counting on the commission to ensure that the disabled community's transportation woes are remedied. One of the things that is, uh, is, is most challenging for us is transportation. And again, uh, we would uh, depend on the commission to ensure that the policies and regulations are put in place so that transportation could become affordable, available, and accessible to all persons with disabilities. No person with disability should be denied, denied transportation. Social Services Minister Melanie Griffin has assured that the government will work to formulate a public transportation policy for persons with disabilities. Nico Scavella, JCN News.